Hello Editors. In today's video, I'm going to show you my complete process for creating hypercinematic visuals that look like they were produced by a real Hollywood studio, all using an AI platform called Higgsfield. Higgsfield has just released a powerful new feature called Cinema Studio, and it allows you to generate movie-level cinematic videos in just a few minutes. It supports multiple scenes, dramatic camera angles, different lenses, and smooth cinematic camera motion that gives your footage a true professional feel. The best part? You don't need to be an expert editor or deal with complicated timelines. All you have to do is upload an image, type a short prompt, and the system turns it into a fully cinematic video almost instantly. So in this tutorial, I'll walk you through everything step by step in the simplest way possible, and we'll create a cinematic shot together from scratch. To begin, click the link in the description and head over to the Higgsfield AI website. From there, choose Cinema Studio to start creating. Once you enter Cinema Studio, you'll see a clean and easy to use dashboard. To start generating a video, the first thing you need is an image. If you already have one, you can upload it and use it as the visual base for your scene. Higgsfield will then generate multiple scene variations automatically based on your prompt. To make everything easy to follow, I'll be starting this entire process from scratch so you can see exactly how it works. So I generated this prompt using ChatGPT. You can either type the prompt manually inside Higgfield, or you can use GPT to generate you a detailed prompt by giving it a short description of what kind of image you want. Then paste it into the prompt section. After that, choose how many results you want. I'll keep it one for the demo. Next. I'll set the resolution to 4K to ensure premium quality. And finally, here are the most powerful settings. Here you get professional grade cameras and lenses to play with. So for this shot, I will choose a max film camera and the lens will be ARRI Signature Prime. And I'll leave the focal length at 24 because it's ideal for wide shots. If you want a close up shot, go with 50. And if you want an ultra wide shot, then go with lower focal lengths like 14 or eight. Then finally hit generate. And after waiting a few minutes, here's the result. This honestly looks like a frame pulled straight out of a movie. The lighting, atmosphere, and composition give it that high budget cinematic feel. The stormy sky, the cliffs, and the character's presence make it feel epic and emotional. It doesn't look AI made, it looks Hollywood made. Okay, now finally, Let's turn it into a hyper cinematic movie scene. To do that, simply click this video option. Here, you'll need to upload a base image. And we already have one. So upload the image we just created in the start frame. You can also put another image for the end frame, but we don't need one right now. Now type your prompt here. You can type very simple prompts, like the camera movements and about the environment. After that, Click on this movement option. Here, you'll find variety of dynamic camera movements to enhance the cinematic feel. And for our scene, orbit around would be the best choice. Next, set the duration to five or 10 second. I'll choose five seconds. Toggle the audio on or off. You can also add slow motion in your scenes, but I'll keep it off for now. Later in the video, we'll test it with a cinematic slow motion version. Then finally hit generate and wait a few minutes. Here's the result. Let's see how it came out. Damn, the camera movement looks exceptionally smooth. This really feels like it was shoot with a pro grade camera but it's almost unreal how you can generate scenes like this with just a prompt and an image. And that zoom on the face in the end, that looks so smooth and cinematic. The facial details are exceptionally good and clear. You can also download, edit, and upscale it with the options given on the right side. All right, folks, now let's create one more version with the same character. So head back to the image section again and delete the previous prompt. I use chat GPT again to write me a prompt. Now I'll simply copy it and paste it here in the prompt section. I'll keep these settings same, even the camera and the lens, because I want to keep the same aesthetics in both scenes and hit generate. Okay, our image is ready. And look how detailed this scene is. 
with the burning kingdom in the background and the lightning on the main subject. It looks so natural. I also wanted to try this upscale feature. Let's see how good it is. So, it's the interface. I'll just click generate and let's wait for the result. Wow, you might not see the difference in the video, but I personally see a difference. Let's download it. And with this upscaled image, we will now move forward to the video generation. Here, let's delete the camera movement and the previous prompt. Also delete this image we used earlier and upload the image we just generated. And finally, write your prompt. Write anything you have in mind. After that, click on the movement option. And this time I think zoom out will be perfect for our scene. Let's keep the audio. And this time let's turn on the slow motion. Let's see how good it is. At last hit generate. As you can see, the slow motion video is ready. Now let's play it and take a look at the final result. The final output is seriously impressive. You get crystal clear visuals, smooth slow motion, and film level camera movement that looks professionally shot. I've already walked you through the entire workflow, so now you can start creating cinematic videos like this on your own without needing a camera or complicated editing software. All it takes is one image and a simple prompt, and the system transforms it into a fully cinematic scene automatically. Go play with other cameras, lenses, and focal lengths, and see what kind of scenes you can generate. If you want to try it yourself, the link to Higgs Field and Cinema Studio is in the description. Go check it out. I'll catch you in the next one.